Craig here with a video about alternative energy. I've been involved in the alternative energy field for more than 40 years and when you're in that field you have to learn what Avery Loveland was called back in the day called megawatts, meaning reducing your energy is probably your best bet and to get the most efficient appliances rather than adding more solar panels or batteries which can get quite expensive. Lighting is one way we can easily do that. I have three light bulbs I'm going to be doing from some comparisons to to try to give you an idea of if what you've read is probably true as far as the literature goes on energy efficiency. These three bulbs are the equivalent of a 60 watt incandescent bulb of energy usage. Now, the, they, they, they consume different levels of energy, but the light output is about the same. Somewhere around 700 to 750 lumens. Lumens means the amount of light output. So all three of these bulbs are putting out about the same amount of light, roughly, according to manufacturer's specifications. Now, to do this test properly, I would actually have to have a light meter, which I don't have, to confirm if the readings are correct for what the manufacturer tells us. I would also need a lethal meter, which I do have, but it takes a long time to set it up for what I want to do, and I just want to get this video done to confirm if the wattage is proper. And then also that you would probably want to do, which probably a lot of YouTube videos ignore, is a light meter. I'm sorry, a heat meter to see the amount of heat being put off by these bulbs because this incandescent bulb actually has about 90% of his out energy output in the form of heat. Now wait a minute, I didn't buy a heat lamp, I bought a light bulb, I thought. But you're actually getting, you're, you're wasting, if you don't need the heat, you're wasting 90% of your energy by using an incandescent bulb. So how much heat are we wasting with these other two? Well, let's find out. I do have a light meter here, we're gonna test this. Now what I found was, when using this meter, it kinda of depended on how far, to shine the laser directly on the light bulb, how far away I was, made a difference in the temperature. For instance, let's do the incandescent bulb right now. Right now I'm shining on the bulb and it is 200, and, I'm sorry, 121 degrees for this bulb. That's how hot it is. However, I put it right up to the bulb, I'm getting 232 degrees. So, without having to measure distance and keep that all uniform and making sure I hit the laser is hitting the bulb, which you can't really see the laser hitting the bulb, then I decided to do it directly on the bulb. So let's do this again for this con for the standard in uh, incandescent bulb. 235 degrees. So that's how hot that bulb is right now. The compact fluorescent putting right onto one of the coils and hitting the button, we get 165 degrees. A lot less heat. Let's try that again. Do it. I'll do two of them. I'll do it each one twice. 161 degrees for the compact fluorescent. The LED. It is at 100.6 degrees. So a lot less heat from the LED so it would suggest, if all the manufacturer's information is correct, that this is the most efficient bulb. Let's do that one again to see if we confirm it. Now we're showing 98 degrees. Now there is another type of bulb, a halogen bulb, which would be up here somewhere. I don't have any to test. It is a lot closer to the the, it, it's as far as efficiency goes, it's a lot closer to the standard incandescent bulb uh, as, as opposed to the compact fluorescent. Now I do have one other bulb off screen that I'm also going to test. These are all the 60 watt rough equivalents of what you, when you buy a light bulb, you're looking for a 60 watt bulb. I've got another bulb here under the screen which is a 15, point, 15 watt LED and that's reading 106 degrees right now. I'm going to do that test one more time directly on the bulb and it is at 106.8 degrees for the, watt, the bulb that puts out equivalent of about 100 watts. So even the bulb that's at 100 watts equivalent output, or about over 1,000 lumens, is even probably more efficient heat-wise, certainly, than the compact fluorescent is at 13 watts. So you can get more energy output with an LED with the least amount of wasted heat. So that's it. I just wanted to do a test that probably others on YouTube weren't doing. They were probably doing lumens with a light meter, and you probably can find those. I didn't look, but you can probably find those tests for lumens and also tests for actual wattage comparison with actual meters to compare these. So my test was only dealing with heat. But I do thank you for watching. So long.